everyone. I'm Melissa here and welcome to your Melissa moment. Hello everyone. Melissa here. Welcome to your Melissa moment and welcome to Toss It Tuesday. We are still going through our kitchen. I know last week we ended up in cleaning my daughter's room because I just walked in and I, you guys saw you guys saw what it was. I don't even understand. She's eight. How? How can she make that big of a mess? I don't know. So we did kind of swerve off our path a little bit, but we're back in the kitchen today. And today I thought we would do the next two drawers. Um, the silverware drawer, I believe we did that. We're going into these next two. So again, if you're still in your kitchen, great. Pick another drawer, pick another cabinet and do it with me. If you have made it through your kitchen already, then feel free to move on to another room or take today as a rest day if you want. Um, the first thing I'm going to do before I even open these drawers is I'm going to clean the outside of them because I'm just looking at it and we've got like some watermarks and things. So I'm just going to grab some Lysol wipes and just give it a little, a little clean here. I must admit, I probably don't clean the outside of my drawers as often as I should, especially these ones by the sink because water spills all the time and then you get water marks and stuff. Um, I'm going to clean this one too just because I'm here or around like the handles especially um, and don't forget the handle themselves. Um, they tend to get really, like what is that, seriously, they tend to get really dirty and I should definitely clean them more than I do. I also do, well lately, I've been doing a lot of baking and cooking and I don't know, things happen and things just get messy. So now I'm not particularly in love with these cabinets. I mean, they're functional, but they obviously like even here, like they've got wear and tear, you know, they're not the best. Eventually maybe we'll give them a facelift, but that will be no time soon. So we're just going to continue with what we've got. They're still functional. They may not look, they may not look the best, but that's okay. I'm at that age where I'm not really trying to impress anyone anymore. You know what I mean? Okay. So we've gotten everything a little white down here. That's good for now. We're going to start with this drawer. Now I got to admit, I'm constantly thinking about my kitchen and the cabinets and the drawers and where things should go, like where the home for things should be. I don't know. I keep changing my mind on where I should put things. Um, right now, this drawer, I don't know if you'll be able to see in there very well. Um, this is my toaster. I keep my toaster in here and bread. This is like our bread drawer. Okay. That's all I have in this drawer. I don't know what it's supposed to be. It's a pretty deep drawer. I don't know if you're supposed to keep pots and pans in here. I honestly don't know. Um, the toaster, I've gone back and forth on this toaster and I've talked about this before. Do I need this toaster? I don't know. I use our Pampered Chef kind of little toaster oven for almost everything and it's rare that I use the toaster. However, my husband bought this toaster and it is an expensive toaster. So there's part of me that doesn't want to get rid of it just because of the price he paid for it, which I know probably isn't the best idea of why to keep something. But when we do make toast, I do usually use a toaster. So we'll probably keep it. I don't know, guys. I don't know. Let me see if I can move you closer so you can kind of get a better idea of my drawer. Hang on. Let's see if we can do this. Okay, there you go. So that's it. Toaster and bread. That's all that's in here. Um, it's not going to take long to clean this out. So we're going to start by taking out the items. So we have a loaf of bread. We also have a container. Now there's probably nothing in it. This is typically when I have buns, I keep them in this container, but I don't have buns right now. So I'm actually going to throw this in the sink and we're going to wash it. Then we've got our toaster. Now, well, let's finish cleaning out the drawer. I do also have in here snacks. I have a brand new box, hasn't even been opened yet. 
of these, um, or maybe it has, no it has, uh, these Hello Panda chocolates from Costco. Um, I have snacks everywhere in this house, and I don't know why. People do eat them, but there's just so many. So I don't know. Let's just take them out for now. They obviously go in a different drawer. So we'll get to that. Um, let's start by cleaning the drawer. It's empty now. I'm going to move you closer. You guys, check out the crumb situation. There's a lot. There's a lot of crumbs in there. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our little vacuum and we're going to vacuum it out. So it's going to be a little loud. Here we go. To vacuum it out if you want to you can just take a cloth or whatever I like to vacuum it out first just to get rid of as many crumbs as I can and then I'll take like a Lysol wipe or you know a cloth with some cleaner or whatever and just wipe down the whole drawer to clean it out perfect now the store is done. I could put the stuff back in and be happy. However, here's the thing. We talked about the toaster, didn't we? When was the last time you cleaned your toaster? I can't remember when the last time I cleaned mine was. We're going to find out, though. Uh, let me move you down lower. There you go. Okay. Move our bread. Let's take a, take a look at our toaster. Here it is. The outside doesn't look too bad. There's some there's some little smudges and stuff. So we're gonna get a new Lysol wipe, and we're gonna just give the outside a little wipe. We're gonna wipe the top, okay, and then we're just gonna wipe the sides and the buttons. Man, this Lysol wipe has got a lot of cleaning products in it. Now, I don't like, can you see all the little thing? I don't like that. So I'm going to take a clean cloth and I'm just going to go over the Lysol wipe and dry that off. Okay. There we go. Now. Look how much look how much better that looks. Oh, there's still some little bits. Hang on. I still see some little reflection bits there. Let's see if we can get that clean. You know, stainless steel looks great, but honestly, cleaning is a real pain in the butt. But that's fine. Okay. That looks better. Okay. Now, you guys, look inside. You need, look. You can see and hear the crumbs. And they're all falling out all over me. So we're going to have to vacuum the floor later, but that's fine. Wow, there's so many. Okay, so I'm sure you all know this. But there's a crumb tray on your toaster. There is. Now, if you have um, like a four-slot toaster, sometimes you'll have two crumb trays. Um, I don't know if I've ever seen one with three, but you might. Um, but basically, if you look on the bottom of your toaster somewhere, there'll be like a little kind of drawer or something. Now, I'm going to pull the, and crumbs are going to go everywhere. I'm going to get covered. The floor's going to get covered, but we'll vacuum it up later. It's okay. But you're just going to pull your little crumb tray. You guys. Oh. Okay. Ew. That's... That's a lot of crumbs. Gross. Um, and then there are more crumbs inside, so I'm going to make a mess on my floor, but that's okay. I'm just going to like shake it to try to get them to fall through the opening on the bottom because now it's open on the bottom. 
I'm just going to try to get most of those crumbs out. Okay. Oh my god, it's a mess. Okay. Guys, I'm covered in crumbs. It's okay. So I'm just going to throw out the crumbs, and then we're going to clean it. So hang on. i got my garbage here. Okay, let's just give that a little... Okay. Okay. So now we're just going to take a Lysol wipe. And we're just going to clean off those crumbs. They do kind of get in and around. You you can also use, like, if you have a little tool or something to really get in the crevices and make sure it's clean. Mine's not too bad in there. It came pretty clean. Okay. Came pretty clean. Don't forget the back of it. Okay. And you just want to clean it. So it's nice and shiny clean now. Okay, now you can go back and see how there's like crumbs, like, honestly, just get those little crumbs out. Just get those crumbs out, you know? There you go. Okay, so we're going to put our crumb tray back in. Turn it over, give it another little wipe, make sure you get all those crumbs, okay? Oh, man. Okay, so there's our nice clean toaster. So we're going to put the toaster back in the drawer. Right to the back. And we're going to put our bread back in the drawer. And I'm going to do another quick vacuum because there's some more crumbs that fell in there. quick vacuum of the floor. Otherwise they're going to get everywhere. Drawer one is done. Moving on to drawer number two. Now, if you want to stop for today, that's fine. You can stop for today. You don't have to keep going. But that drawer was pretty quick and simple. Um, so I might as well just finish off this one real quick. But if you did a big drawer or cupboard, feel free to stop. You don't have to keep going if you don't want to. Okay. Now, again, I don't know what to do with this drawer. Right now, it's kind of like a snack drawer. We've got snacks everywhere, though. Literally, I have snacks in that pantry. I've got snacks in those cupboards. I've got snacks on the counter. And I've got snacks in here. There's so many snacks, you guys. Um, there's not much I can do with this drawer. But I'm going to take everything out, and I'm going to clean it. But probably everything's just going to go back in here. Now we also have these snacks from the other drawer, and I don't think they're going to fit, but we'll see what we can do. Um, we've got popcorn in here. Okay, I've got bags of popcorn. I have got roasted garlic and herb seasoned almonds. They're from Costco. They're really good. I also bought these dill pickle peanuts from Costco. Also good. I like them. They're not as dill pickly as I'd like, but they're still okay. We've got raisins. We have got cherry chocolate trail mix from Costco. Um, I've got just shell in shell peanuts. My daughter really likes to shell the peanuts. No, she, she likes to try to shell the peanuts. And then the ones she can't shell, she puts in a pile for me to break the shell. And then she will shell them. And then we got a whole schwack 
of fruit cups, you guys. We've got peaches and we've got mandarins. And when I say a whole schwack, I mean a whole schwack. I bought the mandarins thinking my daughter would eat them. And it started off okay. She had one, but here's the problem. Just so happens that the one mandarin fruit cup she happened to eat had one seed in it. And now she won't touch a mandarin fruit cup at all because that one had a single seed, which to her is just the end of the world. So yeah, so we have peach ones, which she seems to eat quite a bit. And I'm okay with that. But man, there's a whole schwack here. We might have to move these out. Okay, then I've got more snacks. I've got little fruit to goes. I've got maple covered pretzels. I've got happy birthday pretzels. Those are all from Costco. Um, I've got made good granola bars. I love those. And then I have like a mystery one. It's got made good. Um, it's got little fruit stations and it's got some little chocolate celebration cookies in there. So a whole bunch of stuff. And that's it for this drawer. So again, I'm going to take my vacuum, give it a quick little vacuum, and then we're going to just lice all that up to clean it. So unfortunately, these two drawers, there's really nothing for me to toss. I kind of wish there was, but there isn't. Um, I would normally check expiry dates on the food and throw out anything that is expired or anything that's gone bad. All of these snacks are fairly new, so nothing has expired or gone bad yet. So there's nothing for me to get rid of. So that's that. So now we just got to put things back in here. Now, is there a better way to organize this? That's a good question. You've noticed I have some things in containers and I have some things in bags. I'm wondering if I should put things in containers or keep them in bags. I'm not sure. I think for now, I'll just keep them in the bags. Um, I really don't know what to do with those panda chocolates though. Let's see if I can put those in the back. Okay, we'll try that. This fits, no. How about this one? Okay, we're getting there. Maybe I should do this one. Okay, just trying to fit things back in. You know, let's put my hair stuck to it. Okay. Like that. See, I almost switch these around. I almost want these so you can see them. Okay, so that's fine. Um, I think I'll put, maybe I'll put the fruit cups back there. Maybe that'll work. I don't know. So many fruit cups. And this isn't even all of them. Like I said, I've got more fruit cups in other spots. And I wish they would stack better because they don't really stack that great. You know? Because they like fall over. It's just a huge mess. I keep putting the mandarins in the front hoping that she'll just be like, ooh, I'll try one again. And then realize she loves them. But that hasn't happened yet. So, I don't know, guys. Okay, that's fine. Um, okay, put those there, put that there, perfect. Um, this isn't all going to fit the way I want it to. Peanuts, oh, you won't fit that way now. Darn it, it's fine. It's fine, we'll figure it out. Okay, we're going to rearrange here. We're going to rearrange. Peanuts. So close, and go peanuts. We'll make those fits. Raisins. Okay. 
I have a little clip on these because it has a little Ziploc thing, but I went to open it and I ripped the Ziploc thing. I hope that happened. Okay. There was a fruit cap. Peanuts. I don't know if that's going to close. Is it? Not really. Okay, let's see. Is it too full? Yep. Um, all that means is I don't have to buy snacks for a really long time until people eat these snacks. So we're just going to have to start eating the snacks, I guess. Okay, but that drawer is done. We did two drawers. I'm pretty happy about that. So let's see if it'll close. Okay. So like I said, unfortunately, nothing really to toss today. But sometimes that's going to happen. You know, you're not always going to find something to toss. Um, we're going to continue in the kitchen. Uh, we've done these three drawers now. These two above me are fake. We did under the sink because that's where we noticed, oh, we had a leak under the sink. Um, I think the next one is going to be that corner cabinet. Oh, you guys, it's such a disaster in there. The corner cabinet, I think, is going to be next. So I'm not looking forward to that one because I know there's too much in there. I can't even access the things I want in there. Um, so I'm going to have to get rid of some things for sure. And like I said, I might change my whole kitchen on where things are. I don't know. Like the corner cabinet, I hate that cabinet. It's so, it goes back so far. I don't have a lot of shelf space in there. You have to pile things. It's hard to reach things in the very back. What do you put in there? What do you guys keep in your corner cabinet? Do you have a corner cabinet? I know a lot of people have like a little Lazy Susan in there where they keep things. Mine doesn't have a Lazy Susan. Should I put a Lazy Susan in? Like, I don't know. What's going to be more functional? Like right now, that's where I just keep all of my Tupperware and containers. Should I move those somewhere else and like put pots and pans in there? I don't know. I'm not sure how I'm going to organize my kitchen. All I know is it's not working for me right now and I got to find a new, a new thing. So give me your thoughts and ideas. The corner cabinet. Like, what do we do? I don't know. We got to figure it out. All right, guys, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. As always, see you guys next time. Bye.